In this video lecture, I'll discuss backing up with tar, Scipio, dump, and DD. If you don't have the project directory, enter MKDIR project. Let's first look at the tape archive command. Enter CD space project and LS, and we'll see we have cities too. If you don't have cities too, Enter nano space cities two and enter several cities. But I also want to create a file which has the number of states, so enter nano space states. Press Ctrl O to write out and Ctrl X to exit. Enter cd space dot dot to go back up one level to your home directory. Let's make a new directory. Call backups. Enter MKDIR space backups. I'm going to enter the tar command dash V because I went verbose. I want to see information back. C for create and F for the name of the file. So what this does is this combines multiple files into a single file. To test whether the tar file can be untar. Enter the T option. So enter tar VTF backups slash enter ls l space project to see the files that are in the project directory and also ls l space backups to see the tar file in the backups directory. In order to extract the files from the tape archive, enter tar vxf space backups slash backup1.tar. Press the up arrow key to go back to the command which you use to create the tape archive. When you, when you create a tape archive, that archive is not automatically compressed you have to enter the dash Z option so that you can create a file that is both compressed and archived. And this archive was compressed with gzip. In order to extract and uncompress this archive, enter tar dash V X Z F. If you want to compress with bzip2, enter dash V C J F. And that'll again create an archive which is also compressed. And then to extract that and to uncompress, enter tar dash V X J F if you've compressed with BZIP2. Now there is a special name for a file that's been tarred and used new zip, and it's called a tarball. Let's create several files and let's touch file 1, file 2, and file 3. Because the next command that we'll look at is the Scipio command, the copy input output command. Rather than taking a path to a directory which you want to archive, Scipio takes a list of files from standard input to back up, enter ls, file, asterisk, and pipe that in to Scipio. And this says verbose, we want to do output. We're going to do it by a block. And then that's a capital O dash capital O and the name of the file. You can also use the find command and pipe a list of files that's returned by the find command into the Scipio command and I want to find any files that were modified in the last 10 minutes. And again, that's Scipio-V lowercase o CB with a capital B 
dash capital up. And my one Cibio file is a little bit large, so I'm going to actually remove that file. Any option can be used with the find command, such as the owner of the file, the modified time. For instance, anything that was modified in the last three days, we could enter find m time minus three enter ls backup and let's say that we want to get the files out of that Scipio file enter Scipio dash v i c b for input and dash capital i and enter the file name see this won't overwrite files that have the same name and same version number. Enter sudo apt-get install dump and this installs both dump and restore. Dump allows you to create both full and incremental backups. Full backups back up all files whether or not they've been changed or not. Incremental backups are faster because only those files that have been changed since the last full or incremental backup are backed up. If we back up with level zero, that says perform a full backup. Levels one through nine are incremental backups. Now into a file that's called dump dates, the dates when these backups were done is going to be stored because if you need to do a restore, you have to restore in the same order in which the backups were done. You have to have the full backup and then all of the incremental backups have to be applied. In order to create a full backup, enter sudo dump dash zero uf, enter slash dv slash sdv1, space forward slash dvsda1. What this does is this is going to make a backup of whatever's on DV SDA1 over to a flash drive, DV SDB1. Now you could also back up the entire drive, not just partition one, by entering just SDA. Again, those incremental backups would be dash one UF, dash two UF, all the way to dash nine UF. If you were backing up to a rewinding tape, you would enter slash dev slash st0. In order to restore what was backed up, you'll use the sudo restore command. Again, we could restore from a flash drive or we could have restored from that rewinding tape device, that st0. I won't have you run the restore command, but I will have you look at the dump dates. So enter more slash var slash lib slash dump dates. And you should see several dates in there for doing your full and incremental backups. Typically you would schedule tasks such as the dump task to run daily. And you would enter that script into the etc slash cron daily directory. Let's next look at the dd command. The dd command allows you to make a digitally forensically sound copy. That means a bit by bit level copy of one partition, an entire disk, or even carve out part of a disk to make a backup. So for instance, if I wanted to back up on my Raspberry Pi, one of my partitions, I would enter ddif, and that's the input file. And if I were back up, backing it up to 
a flash drive. I could back that up to slash dev slash stb1 slash backup dot img. And that's the output file. If you were backing up your drive, you would enter ddif equals slash dev slash sda to back up the entire drive to of equals slash dev slash sdb1 slash backup dot img. To restore this file, to restore this information, you'll simply switch the if for the of, the input file for the output file. Now don't do this unless you really do want to perform this restore. This completes the video lecture on backing up with TAR, Scipio, Dump, and DD.